Hey everyone, today's class is called Binds, Bows and Balances. So I basically just couldn't decide what I wanted to do, so I'm doing a little bit of everything. And it's an opportunity to play with holding on, which is something that we have to do in life. Sometimes we just have to hold on and keep going, but also letting go and the balance between the two. So let's experience that. So to begin, we're gonna start in Virasana, which is one of my favorite places to start, especially when we're trying to open up through the front of the thighs. So you'll bring a block um, between your heels, like so, and then move the calves to the side and sit your bum down. You can always use two blocks as well. And then just release the hands onto the thighs. Press the thighs down and grow tall out of the pelvis. And then release your arms, soften the shoulders. And start to stretch your spine from the tailbone through lower back middle back, upper back, all the way through the neck and the crown of the head. And then imagine someone's hands on your shoulders and the immediate ease that comes, a softness. Notice your breathing and just start to get in touch with that gentle rhythm, the ebb and flow, expansion, contraction. Maintaining and that consistency in your breath. Start to take your hands behind you. You're going to interlace, so interlace the hands. And squeeze the shoulder blades together into the spine. And then slowly begin to straighten your arms and you'll feel all the muscles along your spine work. The triceps, that shoulder blades squeeze into the spine. Lower belly in, good and avoid the head popping out, so retract the skull. And so I want you to keep all those muscles working and as slowly as you can, you'll release the hands, but the tendency is for them to like swing apart, but you're gonna work to use your muscles to keep the hands parallel. So release the clasp and imagine you're squeezing a block behind you. For three, everything should feel a little bit crampy, a little bit tight. Two, palm the hands together and release. Oh, just notice the sensation of coming out of something. That can be the most beautiful part of a bind or strengthening is when you come out and find the ease. Come to downward facing dog, bring the blocks to the top of the mat. And just feel the stretch as you broaden your back and lift the pelvis away from your shoulders and then wrap the triceps, stretch the sides of your waist and the shoulders. It's almost like a counter pose in itself. And bring the ears between the biceps to find a long spine, including the neck. Take a deep breath in and full breath out, continuing to find steadiness and ease in your breath. Rise onto your toes and then tiptoe all the way. Hands heavy, feet between the hands. 
Good, inhale, lengthen. And, and exhale, fold into your leg. Good. Sweep the arms to the side. Reach them up above your head. And then interlace the hands, slide the hands to the base of the skull. Good. Inhale, elbows wide, expand the chest, press the tailbone forward, little back bend. And then exhale, interlace the hands behind your back. Lift the shoulders, squeeze the shoulder blades so the muscles are doing the work. And release the head. One more breath. We're going to be doing a lot of this hand clasping stuff, don't you worry. Release the hands. Inhale, lengthen. And step your right foot back. Lower your knee. Sweep the arms up. So we begin in a low lunge in Janayasana. Draw your left hip under. Lift the lower belly and grow tall. So the front of the hips lift. And then interlace the hands, surprise, surprise, behind your back. First, use the muscles. So draw shoulder heads back, squeeze shoulder blades to spine, and straighten the arms, squeeze the triceps. Deep breath in, find length. And then as you exhale, lean forward halfway so you're on a diagonal. And continue to pull the chin in. And here we go. We're gonna do a little twist over to the left. It may feel subtle, like not a big twist, but squeeze the left shoulder blade into the spine. Come back to center, inhale. And then over towards the right, squeeze the right shoulder blade, open the right chest. And center, inhale. And, and then twist over to the left. Center. And, and right. Come back to center. Release the hands down and straighten your left leg, half split. Flex the toes, pull the heart through the arms, lengthen the spine, lower belly in. Bend your left knee, frame the foot, lift the back knee, plant the right hand down, left arm up, find the Easy twist, right thigh to ceiling. Circle the hand all the way back and down. I love a little arm circle just to warm through the shoulders. Flex the left toes to the face and step to plank. Lengthen through the crown of the head, press the heels back and avoid looking at the feet or chucking your chin forward. All right, so align the neck with the rest of the spine, actively press away, wrap the triceps back, and spread the chest as slowly as you can, lower, and you're resisting the earth. All right, this is building so much strength, resisting gravity. Point the toes, hands by the ribs, squeeze elbows, and inhale, lift, cobra, and release. And inhale, cobra, press the hands down, slide them back, and firm your elbows in. Again, imagine you're like screwing that mason jar, and then you'll feel the sensation in the back shoulder blades, triceps, and release. One more. Anchor the toes, lift the lower belly to protect the back. Find that sensation with the hands. And this time, lift your elbows. Squeeze the elbows in for three. Feet down. Two. And release. Press up to your knees. Tuck the toes downward facing a dog. Inhale. And exhale. Center the right foot. Lift your left leg from the inner thigh. And then draw your knee to your chest. Step between your hands. Good. And you can take your hands onto the two blocks. Any height or fingertips. Deep breath in. Peel the heart forward. And then exhale straight in your left leg. So movements of lunge. 
Inhale, heart forward. Press the inner edge of the foot down. And then exhale, lengthen, drape the torso as you straighten the leg. One more, inhale, find length. Right thigh bone presses skyward. And then exhale, straighten. Bend into the knee, move the blocks forward. Hug the inner thighs together and then slowly reach your hands back by your hips, palms down. Lift the torso off of the left thigh. Lower belly lifts, arrowhead. Squeeze the pinkies towards each other to open the chest. Lift the shoulder heads away from the mat. And then interlace the hands. You should feel your legs working. Good. Punch the fist back, open the chest, deep breath in. And little twist over to the left. Hi. And center. Over to the right. Squeeze the right shoulder blade. And center. Keep pressing your right thigh to the ceiling. Over to the left. Neck in line with the spine. Center. To the right. Good. Center. Reach your arms forward. One more breath. And lower the hands and down. Right hand down, left arm up. Inhale. Good, spin all 10 toes to the left and drop the hips. Reverse, skandasana. Good, inhale, reach up and over. And then take your left foot back to meet the right side plank. And draw your right shoulder blade into the back of the heart. Top hip spins forward. Lift your bottom hip, look up. Good, left hand down plank. Take a big breath in, find length. And then downward facing dog. Deep breath in. And then tiptoe all the way, hands heavy. Like your arms are preparing for handstand. That's what we're doing on the walk forward. It's all the prep for inversions. Inhale, lengthen. And then exhale, fold into the legs. Little bend into the knees, lean forward. And sweep the arms up to the side. Reach through space, interlace the hands, slide the hands to the base of your skull. Support the neck. Inhale, expand and open. Lift the chest, press the hips forward. And then fold belly to thighs, interlace the hands. Opposite thumb on top. Keep the belly connected to the thighs, but lift the lower belly, the frontal hips. Lower your hands down. Inhale, lengthen. Step the left foot back. Lower your left knee. Reach the arms up. Low lunge on Janayasana. Big breath in. And take the hands behind the back, okay? Do the funky grip on the hands. Draw the shoulders back, open the chest, and then begin to straighten the arms without hyperextending the elbows. You might keep a micro bend. Deep breath in. Lean forward, the diagonal. And then you'll twist over towards the right. Squeeze your right shoulder blade. Center to the left. So the pelvis is stable and we twist from that space over to the right. So the hips, the legs do not move. And center and to the left. And center. Slowly release the hands. Half split. You're welcome to use the blocks. Pull the right hip back. Hmm. And it's like your right sit bone, your outer right hip firms in. And to protect the hamstring, you draw the sit bone towards your right knee. Pull the heart forward. And then tuck the chin in. One more breath. Bend your right knee. Tuck the back toes, left hand down. Right arm up, easy twist. Press the left shoulder under. 
but draw the shoulder head down the spine. Inhale fully, and then circle the hand back as you deflate the lungs. Pick up the front toes and step to plank. Inhale fully, and then slowly lower chaturanga halfway, maybe a quarter of the way. Press the feet back, upward facing dog. Only the hands and the feet touch. Downward facing dog. Inhale. And exhale. Center left foot, lift your right leg high. Inhale. And draw the knee in. Step through. So everything we do. Nice and slow, taking our time, hands to the blocks. Nothing is missed when we go slow. Inhale, heart forward. Left thigh presses to ceiling and straighten. Plug your front big toe, inner edge of the foot down, heart forward. And straighten. One more, inhale. And straight. Deep bend into the front knee. Move the blocks forward so they're not in the way. Here we go. Firm the right hip in. So the legs are strong. They're going to hold you. You can come up a little bit higher. Lift the belly off of the right thigh so you're not using it as a shelf. I know it's tempting. And then take the hands back. Lengthen through the fingertips. Imagine someone pulling the fingertips or like you have this cape across your back and you're trying to spread it. And firm the right hip and interlace the hands. Deep inhale and twist to the right. We do the same stuff over and over. I love repetition. Inhale over to the left. At center and to the right. Repetition allows us to get better at something. And center Good. and to the left. Okay, center. Now that right thigh is burning. Anchor the big toe. Reach your arms forward and just for a breath. And then lower the hands. Left hand down, right arm up, easy twist. Spin the toes to the right. Let go the foot down if you need. Reverse skandasana. Reach your right arm up. And side plank, step your right foot back. Press the tailbone forward into the pelvis. Roll your right hip forward. Maybe gaze up. And right hand down. First find the plank. Pause. Downward facing dog. Transitions are so important to maintain a smoothness, consistency. And in a vinyasa style practice, the posture is not just the posture itself, but how you get into it and how you leave it. And you start to feel a sense of connection. Rise to the toes. A tiptoe all the way to the top of the mat. Breathe and find length. And then exhale, fold. Sweep the arms wide and high. Deep breath in. And just bring the hands into the heart. And so we're going to come into a standing back bend. You'll take the hands to your lower back. If you have a different variation, go for it. I like fingers up, but if that's inaccessible, fingers down. And the priority is length. So grow tall, press the tailbone forward, lift up, but press your thigh bones back. That locks the pelvis into place. Lift the chest, squeeze the elbows in. So you're squeezing the muscles along the spine. If you feel okay, you can release the head back. If not, you just stay where you are. Good. 
and then slowly you lift all the way back up and then fold 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 breathe in halfway lift and a little relief for the wrists slide the hands underneath the feet toes to wrist creases pada hastasana deep breath in and fold elbows to the side belly to thighs lean forward hug sit bones together and lift the shoulders down the back away from the ears release the hands take a big breath in to lengthen and then you'll plant the hands step to plank find a vinyasa lower chaturanga press the feet back upward facing shoulder blades into the back of the heart downward facing dog take a deep breath in and out center the left foot lift your right leg high inhale and draw your knee to chest step through deep lunge heart forward good back heel down this time firm the right foot in and then circle the arms to lift warrior one bend into your right knee and so you're going into the thighs a little bit more but press your left thigh back lift the kneecap inner thighs spin back so the inseam of your leggings spiral backwards and then interlace the hands behind the back a deep breath in just halfway forward Good. Anchor the inner edge of the front foot. Hips are stable. Good. The legs stay. Inhale. Little twist over towards the right. So head stays in line with the tail. Squeeze the back of your right shoulder blade. Center. Good. To the left. Center. Good. To the right. Center over and over to the left center reach the arms forward flying through space good and then lower the hands down lift the back heel and now reach your right arm to the ceiling spin the toes to the right reverse skandasana right arm back and then we lift up and over take the right foot behind your left knee the knees align Lift the hips, reach your right arm forward. Parsvavashi. Draw the left shoulder blade down the back. Side body strut. Right hand down. Step the right foot forward. Place the back heel 45 degrees. And then open up warrior two. Bend into your right knee. Good arms to a T. So spin the left ribs away from your right knee. And take the arms away from the shoulders. Warrior two. Stay with me. Interlace the hands behind the back. Imagine your side angle. We're doing side angle without the arms, essentially. We're going to lean over towards the right. Long line from the left heel through the crown of the head. Squeeze the back of the left shoulder to open the chest. So we use our back muscles, like you may feel like we're doing lots of back stuff, but really we're doing it all to open the front of the body. Roll your right shoulder under, open the chest. And then reach your arms on the diagonal. Biceps frame the face, inhale. And left hand, left hip, find the block. Half moon, bring it under the shoulder, slide the left foot in. Lift your left foot, press through the heel, spin the right shoulder under, and then gaze up, maybe to that top arm. Steady. If you come out of it, you just come back. One more breath. And step back, warrior two. Inhale. And then windmill the arms down, frame 
your right foot. Step to plank. Inhale fully. And then lower, chaturanga. That upward facing dog. To downward facing dog. Center your right foot. Lift your left leg high. And then draw your knee to your chest. Step between your hands. Take the heart forward. Place the back heel down 45 degrees. Firm the left hip in. And then rise up. So we have a lot of variety in terms of different focuses throughout the practice, but we're just repeating them over and over. Upright the pelvis. Good. And that's important. There needs to be a balance between variety and repetition. Good. Interlace the hands behind the back. Good. Open the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades, lean forward. And you can't just keep changing things up every single day. Um, and it's hard to do the same thing over and over and over. There's a fine balance here. Deep breath in. Good. And then twist over to the left. Center. To the right. And center. One more each side. Legs stable. Pelvis stable. Spine twisting. Center. And then over to the right. Okay, here we go. Here's the work. Reach the arms forward, bicep by the ears. Imagine someone pulling you, biceps in line with the ears. Take the back ribs forward to lengthen the spine. And then release the hands down. And just spin the toes to the left. And reach your left arm up. And then reverse Skandasana. Good, and then reach your arm up, step your left foot behind your right. Parsvavashi, reach your left arm up and over. A little side plank variation. Firm the hips up. Good, and then left hand down, step the left foot forward. Place the back heel, 45 degrees. And get that block ready. Good, and then open up, warrior two. Align your heels, descend your left thigh bone, and then lift the frontal left hip so you're not collapsing into your labrum or your hip crease. Arms extend. Open the right chest. Sit lower, go to where it might be a little bit uncomfortable. And you've probably done warrior two hundreds, if not thousands of times. So what? might feel new about it. Interlace the hands behind the back. Squeeze the shoulder blades, triceps, straighten the arms. Lean on the diagonal. Lean, lean, lean. Roll your left ribs under. Open your right lung. Little tuck of the chin. And then here we go. Arms by the ears, flying. Spin the chest up. One more breath. Right hand, right hip. Left hand to the block. Start to drag that foot in. Might take a step or two. Lift your right leg. And press the inner edge of your left foot down. Big toes. Knee and toes face forward. And then spin the chest open. Stamp your right foot on the wall. Reach your right arm up. One more breath. And gaze down, step back. Warrior two, inhale. And then windmill the arms all the way down. Lift the back, heel, and step to plank. Inhale, lower in chaturanga. That upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Okay, we're gonna step through 
Gonna step your right foot across the ankle, scoot, scoot, and just lower your bum. Nothing too fancy. Come to lay onto your back. Here we go. Place the feet hip distance apart. Good. And find a little gap under your lower back to begin. Interlace the hands behind the head. You know what's coming. Inhale. And then exhale. Lift chest, shoulders, and head. Try to keep the elbows wide and not to crunch the neck too much. Good. Inhale. Lower. And then exhale. Lift. Inhale. Lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. And exhale, lift. It starts off and you're like, well, this is pretty easy. It's like, seems like a little bit of a rest, but it's deceiving. Slowly lift. Inhale, lower. And exhale, lift. Hold, little pulses, halfway lower and lift, halfway lower and lift for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold. We're getting there. Press your lower belly down so now you imprint the spine. Lift one leg to tabletop. Other leg to tabletop, press the belly down. Keep the head, neck, and shoulders lifted. Okay, we hinge from the hip. Tap your right toes forward and down and lift. Notice the knee moves away. Tap the toes so you keep the 90 degree bend. Come up. How are you doing now? Right toes down and lift. Left toes down and lift. We're gonna do one more on each side. And then we add on, not a rest anymore. Here we go. Tap the right toes, lower head, neck, and shoulders. And then everything lifts. Tap the left toes, lower head, neck, and shoulders. Everything lifts. Do not let the lower back come off of the mat. Tap the right toes, head, neck, shoulders, lower, and lift. We're in sync, left toes, and lift. And one more each side tap lower the head and lift it's like a full crunch left toes and lift hold wrap the elbows in try to tap the elbows to the knees without moving the knees to your elbows for three higher for two and release feet down lift your hips freedom Big breath in. Stretch the frontal hips, the abs, upper abs, and then slowly lower all the way down. Here we go. Hug the knees into your chest. Cross the ankles, and then roll all the way up and down to a downward facing dog. Big breath in. Full breath. Out. Okay, center your left foot, lift your right leg, bend the knee, open the hip, and then make a few circles. So, a little bit of freedom here. And then reverse so you make circles in the other direction. And then draw your knee into your chest, step between your hands, take the lunge. Left heel down, rise up, warrior one, inhale. Good, and then circle the hands behind the back, the twisty steps over, punch the fist down, lift the chest, humble warrior. Good, fold inside the right thigh, try not to lay onto the leg, squeeze the right hip in, reach the fist over, and lift the shoulders away from the mat head is heavy your legs are working like crazy and release the hands all the way down lower left knee and then reach your right arm back find the foot chapasana 
Good. Pull the foot in. Find the pinky toe side. Open the chest. Left shoulder away from the ear. And then release. Good. Tuck the back toes. Press the back heel down. Now you'll bring a block inside of your right heel. Open to warrior two. Straighten your right leg. Yeah, and bend. So we're just going to give that burr, that leg a little bit of a, a relief. Straighten. Good. And bend. Let's straighten. And we bend. Stay now in the bend. Reach your right arm forward. Hand will come to the block inside of the leg. Bend the knee so the knee's over the ankle and press your right arm into your right thigh. Left arm to the ceiling. Spin the palm back. Find your half bind. Find your right hip crease. Spin the chest open. Good. So you stay here or take the full bind right hand underneath the right thigh. Lift the chest so you want to find that same sensation of flying the spine that we did so we're not hovering but we lean back. Squeeze the left shoulder blade. Open the chest. Press the tailbone forward for three. Stay in it for two and one. Right hand down. Find the block. Left arm up. Inhale. Good. Left hand to left hip. We go back into half moon. Right hand forward. Lift your left leg. Good. And then you can stay here or take the chapasana. Big chapasana fan these days. Going through a phase. Press the tailbone forward. Open the chest. Squeeze the back of your left shoulder. Good. And then you can kick into your hand and find a nice back bend. Little bow. One more breath. Slowly release the leg. Realign the spine. Step back, warrior two. Inhale. And then windmill the arms all the way down. Left hand down, right arm up. Twist and spin the toes to the right. Reach your right arm back. And lift your arms, lift your hips. And now wild thing, take your right foot behind your left knee and lift your hips up, lift the chest up. And this should feel really nice in the right hip after we just did all of that flexion. I'm gonna extend and open. And right hand down, right foot across, inhale. Chaturanga, upward facing. Downward facing dog. Oh, slippery. Center your right foot. Lift your left leg high. And, and then you bend the knee, open the hip, and start to take a couple circles just to juice into the hip joint. A little freedom of movement. Circle. Other direction. And then draw your knee into your chest. Step through. Come to fingertips, heart forward. Back heel down 45 degrees. Firm the left hip in. Let her reach the arms up. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, interlace hands. Take a big breath in. Press the right thigh back. And then humble warrior. Curl the lower belly in as you fold and imagine your head like a piece of fruit on a branch. It's heavy. So you get to traction the spine and find space in the neck. One more breath. And then release the hands. Lower your right knee and reach your left arm back. Your right hand can always come under a block to get a little bit more height to reach the foot, firm the left hip in or left knee in. 
Open the chest, squeeze the heel to the bum. And just enjoy the stretch. This is the one that's gonna prepare you for the Chapasana, right? So little stepping stones to know if you can't do Chapasana, it's fine. Like, it's not what it's about. That's totally not the point of yoga. But you have an option. You can find this nice little stretch here. Same sensation in the thigh. And then release. Warrior two, back heel down. Bring the block inside the heel. So you're ready to go. Get him to straighten. Enjoy it. And bend. Nothing lasts forever. Just straighten. And bend. One more deep breath in. And then bend. Start to reach your left arm forward. Forward, forward. Hand to the block. You need to readjust. And then reach your right arm up to the ceiling. Spin the chest open. Spin your right palm back and then slide the hand behind you to your left hip crease. Press the tailbone forward. And it's that sensation of staying lifted, of flying. Good. So the left torso is away from the left thigh. Take the left hand underneath. Good. And then stretch the spine. Press the right hip forward. Good. Curl the left sit bone towards your left hamstring. Lean back. One more breath. I'm getting very high pitched, aren't I? Good. And then release left hand down, right arm up. Take a big breath in. And right hand, right hip. My black is already there for me. And then start to shift forward. So the knee tractions in line with that second and third toe. Block under the shoulder, lift your right leg. Firm the left hip in, spin the chest. Good. And then right arm to the ceiling. Chapasana, bend your right knee. Find the ankle. Good. And then from here, realign the knee and the ankle, open the chest and maybe kick into the hand like you're in that bow-like shape, letting the front of the body expand. One more breath. And coming back through half moon, right? So catch the half moon, straighten your right leg, right arm to ceiling, look down. Warrior two, step back. Let's stay with the burn. Deep breath in. We'll have that relief. Windmill the arms all the way down. Right hand down, left arm up, amazing job. Spin the toes to the left, right hip down, reach your left arm back, reverse skandasana. Reach your left arm up, wild thing. Left foot behind the right knee, and then lift the hips, and squeeze the left glute to open the hip. One more breath and then circle the hand all the way down. Step the left foot back, final flow. Inhale, chaturanga, resist the earth. Upward facing to downward facing dog. Slowly ripple forward, high plank again, and lower as slowly as you can, resist. Resist, resist. Good, point the toes. Okay, we're gonna move into our belly back bends. And they're gonna get a little bit crazy. So, stick with me. Slide the hands by the ribs, elbows firm in. Good, press the tailbone, pubic bone down, lift the lower belly. And then lift. We did all of this work to strengthen the back, interlace the hands, punch the fist back, lift your legs. Here we go. This is so amazing for building back body strength. I could probably never get sick of it. I do it 50% of my classes. Squeeze the heels in towards the bum. 
like you're using one of those like hamstring curl machines at the gym. I haven't been to the gym in like seven years maybe. And resist. One more, squeeze the heels into the bum. Lift the thighs and release. Good, bring the cheek to the mat and soften. Full shebang, hands by the ribs. Know you've done all the work up into this point, so don't discount yourself. Lift the shoulders, lift the chest. Reach your arms back, interlace, punch the fifth. Lift your legs, squeeze the heels in. Find the ankles, flex the toes, and then lift the chest. Let's continue to kick. Stay on the belly and the rib cage like you're squeezing a block between the inner thighs. One more breath. And release. Big toes together, heels apart, turn your cheeks, or turn to the right. Soften the bum. Okay, one more round, and this one's kind of just for fun, um, but is actually official yoga pose. Hands by the ribs, elbows in, lift the chest, lift the legs. Interlace the hands, reach the fist back. Squeeze the heels in, grab the feet, flex the toes, lift. Here we go. Imagine squeezing that block, get a little bit of momentum, and over to the left. Bow on the side, like Chapasana, kick into your hands and breathe. One more breath. Good, roll back to center, momentum. Align yourself, deep breath in, over to the right. Good. Kick into your hands, open the chest, especially the left. Good. And then slowly, well, not slowly, you have to use momentum really. Come all the way back. Good, kick, lift, align yourself. A little bit of wiggling to make that happen. And release. Yeah, they lift. Big toes together. Sometimes you just have to do ex experimentations. You know, see what works. Try it on. If it doesn't fit, throw it out. Give it to someone else. But it's also about trying things on from a different perspective, a different lens. And slowly take the hands by the ribs, press yourself up to your knees and just a little child's pose. Just to soften the lower back. And then slowly come all the way up. Bring the legs out in front of you. Here we go. And we'll start with a twist to realign the spine and neutralize the spine. Bring the left foot in, right leg long. Cross the left foot over the right knee. Right side, take the left hand behind you and lift the lower back. Reach your right arm to the ceiling. Option to bend your right knee in if both sit bones can stay. And then twist over to the left. Hook the elbow or hug, simply hug. Take a deep breath in Good. and out. If you want to take the bind, you can thread the arms through and then just open the chest. Anchor your left foot. Press the shoulder blades into the back of the spine or into the back of the heart and squeeze the shoulder blades together like we've been doing this whole time. Unravel the arms and spin over to the right. Good, and then come back 
to center, straighten your right leg, bring the left foot to the inseam of your right thigh, and you wanna open the knee up as much as you can so the heel kind of comes into the groin. Fingertips down, lift the chest, spin the left ribs towards your right knee, and then just start to fold forward. And then just start to fold forward. Anchored from the hips, you pull the chest through the arms and begin to surrender. After all of that, sort of holding it together, just somehow or sometimes how binds feel. Like you just don't know when they're going to end and you're just holding your shit together. It's kind of like it's like holding your tongue, right? There are times when you're just going to have to hold it together because it's not helpful otherwise to say something or it's hurtful. You have to hold back. And that's something that's never going to go away. It's a, it's a skill that we need to be able to have and cultivate but we just to figure out and align ourselves with situations where we might be able to let go and surrender a little bit more. That is my TED Talk. Deep breath in. And slowly walk the hands in. And draw the knee in and extend and then you're gonna hug your right knee in and cross the ankle over bring your right hand behind you reach your left arm up and you can tuck that left foot in and then hook the elbow to the knee or simply hug the leg you feel that outer hip stretch and the spine and then the right hand can come around and it's the sense of the right shoulder blade squeezing into the spine to open the chest. And here we are, we're back at it, bound. Can you find a little bit more ease in knowing that sometimes holding it together is the right thing to do? But doing it in a way where you're not over-efforting or aggressive, but poised and put together. And unravel over to the left. And then come to center, straighten your left leg. Bring the right heel into the groin, draw the right knee out. Hands frame the thigh, grow tall, and then spin towards the toes. Start to lean forward. Walk the hands forward. Drape the thigh or drape the rib cage down the thigh. And surrender. Now we need to hold it for as long as I spoke on the other side. I'll just enjoy a bit of silence. Slowly release the hands, lift up, walk the hands in, draw your right knee in. Stretch your right leg. So now both legs, Paschimottanasana, fingertips, lift the lower back and start to fold. And you can use a strap and that helps to just draw the baby toes back. You can use the block as well. Firm the thighs. Stretch the spine. Relax your neck. And soften the face and jaw. 
only holding together the parts of you that are necessary to stay in this shape in a healthy way. Everything else can soften so you're efficient. And then slowly lift up. Come all the way up and scoot the feet forward and we're gonna roll down one vertebrae at a time onto our backs. We're gonna hug the knees in. And we're gonna do a little half shoulder stand, we'll call it. It's a modified version that has less pressure on the neck. So the legs are gonna come to a 45 degree angle. Hands to the hips like you're doing a backward somersault. Catch the pelvis into your hands. Scoot the elbows in. And then support the lower back with the hands. I like to wrap my fingers around my waist. And then the feet come. Back legs 45 degrees. And you should feel a little bit more free in your neck than when you're all stacked up in a straight line. Let everything drain. Just start to release the feet down, release your hands if that's available. I like to bring my hands to my feet for this so you can try it out if you like. And then one vertebrae at a time, we roll down, massaging the spine. Your core is your brakes. Belly in. You might find a little crack in the back. I always say that, I don't know why, just because my back cracks a lot. And then slowly, Release. We'll come into fish. Slide the hands underneath the bum. Press into the elbows. Lift the chest. But open the chest and release the head back. And this is just a little counter pose for the neck and the spine. Opening through the throat after the compression. And then slowly release. I'm going to come into Shavasana. You can bring the blocks underneath your thighs. You'll draw the tailbone underneath you to lengthen the low back. Bring your arms to 45 degrees. Draw the shoulders down the back. And give yourself permission to rest. Permission to let go and to not have to hold it together. Shavasana. Gently wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. So you come back into your body, back into the room. Take a big stretch. And then hug your knees in. Wrap your arms around your legs. Roll to the side. Come on up. And then sit tall. And this is just an opportunity to say thank you to your body and your practice. Whatever you gained, whatever you lost. Sometimes we need to hold on to things. Sometimes we need to let go. Let's take an ohm. Deep breath in. Bring the 
the thumbs to the forehead and take a deep breath. Namaste.